first I'd like to welcome everyone here, family, good friends. Thank you for coming and joining us in this beautiful evening, in this beautiful place. The same church Manas and I were married in more than 40 years ago, and they said it wouldn't last. Many of you have come a long way to be here, California, Missouri, Illinois, Norway, Anamara. Thank you for coming to be with us tonight and to share in our joy and to help celebrate the love between our son, Paris, and his lovely wife, Jessica. Love, no matter who we are, where we've come from, or what we believe, love is the necessary element of a truly happy and fulfilling life. The great unifier, our one universal truth. All of us here tonight have our own love stories. Some are short, some are long, some are yet unwritten while others are just starting their journey. Here's a brief look at Paris and Jessica's journey. Sixteen years ago, they met in an art class at university. Both were drawn to each other from the very beginning. But after graduation, they both returned to their homes and families, Jessica to St. Louis and Paris back to Chicago. At first, they wrote love letters, but the distance between them caused them to eventually part ways and lose touch. Then, in 2010, Paris decided he's going to call Jessica and ask her to come to Chicago and accompany him to a friend's wedding. And she said yes. This, of course, rekindled the fire that I believe never went out, and they realized they needed to give their relationship another try. Seven months later, Jessica moved to Chicago. Three years later, with lots of tears and joy and laughter, they were engaged. And last September 2015, they were married. We're here today to celebrate that union and witness the next chapter of their story. Paris and Jessica, we are all here to hope with you, to support you, to be proud of you, to remind you that love isn't happily ever after. Love is experience of continuing to write your story with compassion, understanding, respect, compromise, loyalty, and of course, unconditional love. Any other reads? Yeah, she's put them on from behind. The placing of these wreaths symbolizes the bonding of two unique individuals, promising to stay true to themselves, yet dedicated to each other. They've each written a personal message to each other, and they were going to read them now. You are the love of my life, and I can think of no better way to 
start the next chapter in our saga, the mighty coming your wife again and forever partner today. Je t'aime, te amo, From the moment our paths crossed, you surprised me, distracted me, captivated and challenged me in a way that no one ever has. I fall in love with you again and again. I vow to love you, encourage you, trust and respect you. This family will create a home filled with learning, laughter, compassion. I promise to work with you to foster and cherish a relationship, knowing that together, we will build a life far better than either of us can do alone. Today I choose you to be my wife again. I accept you for who you are again, and I offer myself in return again. I vow to remain your constant optimist and to make sure you eat well, take your vitamins, but most importantly, I'll be there. I promise to listen and to love under any circumstance, happy or sad, easier, difficult, sunshine, rain, or hunger and monsoons. I promise to love you as you deserve to be loved with admiration, passion, and respect, and treat you like the woman you are. You are not only the love of my life, but you have helped me become who I am today. Let us be partners, friends, lovers, today and all other days. Sagapa, I love you. Will you, Paris, promise to keep Jessica as your favorite person, to laugh with her, go on adventures with her, support her through life's tough moments, be proud of her, grow old with her, and find new reasons to love her every day? I will. <laughs> Jessica, will you keep Paris as your favorite person, to laugh with him, Go on adventures with him, support him through life's tough moments, be proud of him, grow old with him, and find new reasons to love him every day. Paris and Jessica, it was love that brought you here today. It's love that makes yours an amazing union, and it will be love that will allow your marriage to thrive and endure. So, by the powers vested in me as mother of the groom, I proudly and with great honor pronounce you husband and wife again. You may kiss the bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, family and good friends, it's our proud and overwhelming pleasure to present once again Paris and Jessica Caruso.
Hello. <laughs> 